Hey Geek Family, we're back. This time we're going to check out a video about Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam's life. I'm Nathan. I'm Rachel. Trinity. Troy. Jordan. Uh, yes, um, I know I have um, I have seen this uh, gentleman. I don't know a whole lot about him, so that's why we're going to go ahead and check out the video. But real quick, before we do, just want to say thank you guys again so much for all your support on the channel. And if you can, can y'all hit that little like and subscribe button? Followed, Rachel, wait. Follow that little Seriously, notification. You know to edit? Bell, bing. 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 There we go. So, we're not going <laughs> to stall right now. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. Rachel's on drugs. <laughs> I am not. All right, here we go. May 11th, 1998, hmm. when the ground shook in poker and awakened the world to see emergence of a new India. It was beginning of a new era, which is marked with Red Letter Day in the history of India. Operation Shakti took the world by surprise and gave Shakti to India that is now a powerful yet a peace-loving nation. Following the slogan coined by Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee, the then Prime Minister, Lal Bahadur Shastri Ji ne kaha tha, Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan. Maine ab isme ek naya ayam joda hai, Jai Vijayan. Ikisvi sadi mein hume apni sena. India has progressed with number of scientific advances taking place time to time. Here, a significant credit goes to Dr. A P J Abdul Kalam, who had dreamt. And made India a self-reliant, strong nation. We are delighted to inform all of you that the mission hundred percent successful. Born to meagerly earning Janul Abedin and Ashiyamma as the youngest of the five children. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, coming from a humble beginning with early schooling in Rameshwaram, reached to the highest seat of the country, the President of India. Respecting all the religions since his childhood, he used to go to mosque, temples, and the church before going to school. Wow. Later, graduating in physics at the St. Joseph's College, Trichurapalli, he further graduated in aerospace engineering from Madras Institute of Technology. In the first phase of his career, Dr. Kalam joined ADE at Bangalore as a senior scientific assistant in 1958 and designed the first hovercraft before joining ISRO. In his two decades association with ISRO till 1982, Dr. Kalam turned into a successful space scientist and developed satellite launch vehicles for SLV-3 rockets to put Rohini satellites into orbit in July 1980. The second phase of his career started with joining the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, in 1982. Here, his vision resulted in the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, IGMDP, that has ensured India achieving enviable position in missile technologies of propulsion, guidance, Ooh. controls, and warnings, despite the sanctions imposed by the control regimes. Under his leadership, India has been able to develop strategic missiles like Agni and Prithvi and tactical missiles like Nag, Akash and Trishul. If India is not poor, people thinking is poor, okay? If only our thinking is poor. If we think big, we can also equally become... This has paved the way for India to enter the elite club of nations to have the ability to design develop and deploy long-range missiles, indigenous missile defense system, and underwater launch capacity. He was the scientific advisor to Defense Minister and the Secretary, Department of Defense Research and Development from July 1992 to December 1999. During this period, he played a crucial role in the Pokhran II nuclear tests in collaboration with Department of Atomic Energy. 
he gave thrust to self-reliance in defense systems by progressing multiple development tasks and mission projects such as light combat aircraft and the electronic warfare programs. During this phase, he, as chairman of the Technology Information Forecasting and Assessment Council, TIFAC, also got involved with the creation of Technology Vision 2020 and the India Millennium Missions IMM 2020, which is an integrated version of Technology Vision and India's security concerns. Dr. Kalam served as the principal scientific advisor to the government of India in the rank of cabinet minister from November 1999 to November 2001 and was responsible for evolving policies, strategies and missions for many development applications. His fourth phase started with joining Anna University at Chennai as professor of technology and societal transformation. This fourth phase took a sudden turn when he became the President of India on 25th July 2002. Oh. Honed with his experiences at ISRO and DRDO, Dr. Kalam also brought a spirit of dedicated service and inspirational zeal to this highest office which earned him the title of the People's President. An enthusiast of art and culture, he used to spare some time playing Veena to meet with his love for music. After demitting the office in 2007, Dr. Kalam continued his passion for education and societal transformation, addressing various cross-sections of society from school children to policy makers. In his literary pursuit, he has written many books. Wings of Fire, India 2020, A Vision for the New Millennium, My Journey, Ignited Minds, Unleashing the Power Within India are the few books which have become household names in India and among the Indian nationals abroad. These books have been translated in many Indian languages. Recognition and respect for his many achievements came through a number of awards that include the Padma Bhushan Award in 1981, the Padma Vibhushan in 1990, and the highest civilian award of India, the Bharat Ratna in 1997. Dang. He's also the recipient of several other awards, including the Indira Gandhi Award for National Integration 1997. He's also conferred degree of Doctor of Science D. Shonarai Skosa by a number of universities. The man who had a very humble beginning and started his career from shores of Rameshwara, who believed in both Quran and Gita, who daily offered namaz and played veena, continues to live in the heart and minds of every Indian. That's a very good quote. That's an amazing quote. I want that quote. Wow. Yeah, I know we were uh, pretty quiet during the uh, during watching that, just because I, I know for me I wanted to I wanted to hear everything that was going on, and I know some stuff like songs and all that we can kind of get silly with and all that, but certain things I want to like pay attention and like really listen to because, like I said, he's it's a face I've seen him before, but I didn't I didn't really know anything uh, much about him, so that was very cool. And I was gonna I was hoping they would say what year he would, became president because that was something I was I was putting in the back of my mind. I'm like, okay, I need to find out as soon as the video's over when he became president. But it said, uh, yeah, 2002 to 2007. Uh, but yeah, that was. Uh, like they, like they said, uh, come from a very humbling, humble beginning to uh, become the president. That's always cool to hear when people when people do that. No matter what uh, what country you're in, uh, mm -hmm. you you come from like um, just a simple or you know regular background to the highest uh, position in your country. That's always very cool to hear. Uh, mm -hmm. And that quote at the end, they even have it on the the thumbnail. All of us do not have equal talent, but all of us have an equal opportunity to develop our talents. It's a yeah. very very awesome quote. Uh, what did you guys think, though? It was uh, a... <laughs> Sorry. What Who's going first? I guess I'll go. <laughs> oh. I really liked it, and that is crazy that everything he has invented, and, you know, 
became of India because, you know, mm -hmm. without his inventions, not only would, you know, India be like how it is today, but also America. Like, he changed the whole world with his inventions, and I thought that was really cool, especially yeah. the whole guided missiles, mm -hmm. which I know is used a lot now. And, you know, probably without that, you know, I wonder how war would be. Probably still be crazy and heck. <laughs> it probably it's still crazy would be. Yeah, but it's not so bad. You know, you just boom, and then it just goes and gets them. True. What'd you think, Troy? Um, I thought it was a good video. You learn a lot of information <clears throat> about him. And it kind of looked like he may have been one of the best presidents India has ever had. So you have all the things he did, and he was, and they called him the People's President. Yeah, oh, he seemed did like he was very well liked. Uh, a Gandhi Award. Oh yeah, yeah. And he got the highest uh, award, the highest uh, civilian uh, award that you honor you can get. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it does seem like that he was very well loved and liked by the citizens of India. He uh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, he seemed like he'd be a nice guy. Yeah. It says that um, I pulled up for Britannica um, a little bit about him. His full name is Avu Pakir. Janula Bidin Abdul Kalam, born October 15, 1931, died July 27, 2015. He was a scientist and a politician who played a leading role in the development of India, India's missile and nuclear weapons program. He was president from 2002 to 2007. So he was. 2015. So he was part of the. Um, because we, we saw the trailer for that movie where India conducted their secret nuclear tests. Mm -hmm. So that was, he was, a, he was a part of that. Uh, let me see. Should have been. Please. I would assume if he had something to do with their nuclear, nuclear. It looks uh, like it. They he had a nickname called Missile Man. Oh, that's cool. It's always a cool nickname. Right. I don't have a cool nickname. He was, he was scientific advisor to the defense man. minister from 92 to 97. He later served as the principal scientific advisor from 99 to 2001. To the government with the rank of cabinet minister. His prominent role in the country was 1998's nuclear weapons test, established Kalam as a national hero, although the test caused great concern in the international community. In 98, he would put forward a countrywide plan called Technology Vision 2020, which we saw, which he yeah. described as a roadmap for transforming India from a less developed to a developed society within 20 years. Hmm. The plan called for, among other measures, increasing agricultural productivity, emphasizing technology as a vehicle for economic growth, and widening access to health care and education. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I would say that 20 years thing, that's a pretty quick uh, turnaround. Yeah, that's a humongous, oh, that's a humongous job to do in that yeah. short span of time. 2002, mm -hmm. India's ruling for the N NDA, the National Democratic Alliance, put Kalam to succeed outgoing president <coughs> Narayanan. Kalam was nominated by the Hindu nationalist, uh, even though he's Muslim. His stature and popular appeal was such that even the main opposition party, the Indian National Congress, also proposed his candidacy. Wow, I that's oh, pretty dang. awesome. Have both ends of the spectrum want you there? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, Kalam easily won the election and was sworn in as oh, India's that, yeah. 11th president, a largely ceremonial post in 2002, July 2002. He remained committed to using science and technology to transform India into a developed country. Oh, yeah, ceremonial position, because India has a prime minister as well. Right. So, it, it, the, if I understand correctly, because I was reading about it, the prime minister is the one who makes the decisions, but the, the president is the one that okays them, if that makes any sense. Kind of like our president. Approves them. Right. Because well, I think, because yeah. it made me think that, because I was like, oh, wait, Russia's got a president and a prime minister. But I think it's kind of reversed there. I think the president basically has... The president has all power. Has all the power. Well, unless you're Putin, and then when you were prime minister, you know who was really running the country. It wasn't the president. It was Putin as prime minister. He's uh, running the president. And he's now running he's back in the president. Yeah, he only, he only went out long enough to legally be able to come back as president. Uh, sorry, that's getting off sidetrack. Uh, pretty much that's it. It just says it just lists um, everything else that he's done while he was the president. I, this this gentleman did so so much for this country. It's like. Wow, and he they, they do say that he is listed as the people's president, kind of mm -hmm. like Diana was the people's princess, that he had oh, a big yeah. heart. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it, everything, and now it's going into the history of engineering. Okay. Uh, that for a, and I'll say this for a shorter video, too, that was, they had a lot of information and pretty uh, yeah, informative. Um, mm -hmm. But real quick, Trini, do you, you, you want to add anything before we end it? 
just saying it was really sweet. Yeah, that's what Trace is. Trace like, yeah, he'd be very sweet. Sweet individual to have known. Yeah. Um, I would have loved to sit down with him and just listen to him talk for hours on end. I'm sure he's had. Uh, he would have had some uh, pretty amazing awesome stories, stories to yeah. tell you. Uh, and I'll say this: if you guys have any other, because uh, I know we've we've done videos on Gandhi now, um, and uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, uh, is if there's any other, maybe his, any other historical um, figures figures from India that you guys would like us to check out, because it's I, I love learning um, stuff like this. So any sort of historical or anything like that involved with uh, India. You like us to check out? I'd love to watch them. I know we probably will, would all love to watch them and sit down and check them out. So yeah, send them our way, and um, uh, we'd love to see them. So yeah, thank you guys again so much for all your love and support on the channel. You guys are awesome. Love y'all. Bye guys. Mm -hmm. Let's go Red Wings. <laughs> yeah, he just gets good. like you know that stuff that's in your ear. Like earwax? No, like right you here. You get earwax face? No, you know, like right here. <laughs> no, stop, Trinity. No, Trinity, no. stop. <laughs> He's stop. slowly sinking in a seat. <laughs> stop it. Stop. Everybody ready? No. Stop it. What was that? Stop it. How much would you, uh, how much would it? Dad, don't even say it. Oh, to get, to get you to eat, eat it. it. Jordan? Dad? Let me scrape it with my yeah. nail and then I'll take it. Let me scrape with your nail and then you use your take teeth. Hurry up, I gotta go. Get it, it off your mouth. Me All right. Up hey Geek Family, we're back. This time we're going to check out a video on Dr. APJ well, Abdul kind of Kalam's. Uh, this one is entitled Life and His Contributions to India. Wait, to India's. <laughs> <laughs> it cut it India's off. India's government, I think. Maybe. Okay, let's restart that. We'll just, I'll just say Dr. Kalam. Wait, just click on it. No, no. Just I think it's Three, two, one.